Welcome to Beyond the Game, all country, all the time. Uh, nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> what's up, what's happening? You already know who it is, what it is. It's your boy, Nephew Q. And if you're turning into the first time to the world's most dangerous sports show, Sweet. Beyond the Game. And in the building with me, you already know who I got. I got Ralph Clay in the building. Clay, go introduce yourself one time for the one time. What's up, world? Hey, man, did Lamar lose on Sunday? He did. Mm. We we then you wasn't here, but 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 we try to give uh, Lamar Jackson his credit. Daniel, I, I apologize. We try to give him his credit after I, the Monday. Was it Monday night when they played? I wish Lamar? he was here because you probably would have told it, me not it, to did do it. Play Monday night. I would have. Yeah, yeah. So we try to give him his credit. Say, hey, you know, he's climbing. You know, Chuck was like, no. No, he still ain't in the top five. He still ain't in the top five. <laughs> I mean, Ralph was like, yeah, he kind of is kinda now. Is. But, you know, you got beat by Mr. Crab Leg. So, I mean, we, you know, take that with a grain of salt. <laughs> but anyways, we got in the building with us today. We got Smith Mello, a.k.a. Daniel, a.k.a. the Lamar's biggest opposition in the building. <laughs> <laughs> Say what's happening to the people, man. Man, y'all already know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got we got this guy right here. We were 2017 back in the day. Uh, KJ and I started this thing off, and then, you know, he had to move to Florida. And then I was like, bro, you know, he's like, nah. Do you remember what you told me? When you when, when when you moved to Florida and you know we was doing, trying to figure out what to do with the show, you, you, you I don't know? remember now. You said keep it going. Oh, okay. You said I'm keep. Sure that's surprise. Smart guy. He said keep it going, and so Smart here we guy. are, twenty twenty four, still holding on strong. We have in the building. Le, he's a bigger LeBron James fan than me. Oh, I understand. Don't start that. Don't don't. Keezy K J Johnson in the building. Let's say what's happening, man. What up, cruel world? Hey man, let's let's get right on into it. Let's talk about a topic. I don't know if I'm gonna wait for this topic for Charles to get in here. I go ahead and talk about it. Let Charles jump in here but anyways uh ralph clay's dallas cowboys Trash. don't do it don't do it to me bro dallas cowboys do took the l again on Mo no sunday night when they played the san francisco 49ers it was the big matchup dak prescott versus brock purdy mvp versus, <laughs> <It's a big laughs> MVP versus mvp up in that thing so clay what's up man are the cowboys just playing bad or are they still salvageable <laughs> i think we talked about it last week bro i think I just I picked the Bengals to have a better turnaround than the Cowboys, you so did. I'm, I'm sticking with it, man. I don't know what's going on in Dallas. They paying all this money to these fools, and they these just fools. not getting it done, bro. I don't get why it. Why can't be fools, bro? I'm just saying, man. Like, yeah, I, I don't get it. What's going on with the Cowboys, Jerry? Um, I blame you. You put it on Jerry, and I'm leaving it there, man. I'm, Jerry's uh, on I'm, the field, though. Cowboys are done for this season. Done. He said Jerry ain't on the field. Man. Damn. You. Are they just playing bad? Are they still salvageable? Man, look, the issue is Jerry don't want to open his wallet up. Now, I Only give to it certain to people. I give it to him. He did draft a good roster about three or four years ago. He's he's always kept talent in certain areas like linebacker, stuff like that. they just injury prone or small, but he he don't have enough game changers. C.D. Lamb, it, I like C.D. Lamb, but C.D. Lamb – Mm -hmm. yep. He's he doesn't have any dynamic trait. Like he don't run a four three like Tyreek Hill. I mean he's just a, a volume guy, almost like Amon Ross St. Brown. He's a little bit more dynamic because he's taller, but he's he's kind of that guy. So they don't have a running back. Zeke is washed. He's been washed for like two three years. What about the quarterback? They got a quarterback. Everything's I, I on. Asking. The thing okay. is, if y'all had a running back in a run game, y'all no. could just run, <laughs> play action, and Dak could just throw the ball like twenty-two times a game. But when he's got to throw 35, 40 times, it's not it. That's not. He's not that guy. Well, first of all, if Dak is throwing thirty-five, forty times, they let you know the Cowboys are behind right there. And so, he's gonna uh, have. Yeah, a, he's gonna throw a pick every time. Uh, 100%, oh, you, yeah. you can bank on that. <laughs> yeah. He gonna have you about three twenty-five, three thirty, two touchdowns. Well, you gonna have that pick in there. Oh, they, for sure. As they lose forty-five to fourteen. You but, Gamble, that's a lot. That's a lot. KJ, yeah. Same, yeah. same question. The Cowboys, are they just playing bad or are they still salvageable? Just bad, man. They're just bad. <laughs> they just they bad? Can't, they can't run the ball. No. They can't stop anybody for real. No. Well, they can't stop anybody from running the ball. They can't stop, no, they can't stop nobody they can't for stop real. The pass either. <laughs> they, can't, they can't stop nobody for real, period. Yeah. And as far as that goes, I mean, you know, if you if you can't run the ball, that they, they don't have anything to really – they're going to key on you and, and the receivers because they're not really worried about you handing the ball off, so – Look, I, 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 ain't saying, I ain't saying that got to be the end-all, be-all because it's not all, all on him. But at the same time, if you're paying the guy Thank you. his extension, which will kick in next season, I think it's like $60 million, Dak has got to perform a little bit. He's got to be – Give me something. He's got to keep you in the game. Daniel something. Jones got $60 million too. You, mm. That's what I'm saying. What so a waste of money. We're going to we gonna get to Daniel Jones too in, the, in a second as well. But that's my – and I think you try to tell uh, Chuck that is that – 
If you're going to pay somebody $60 million, on, you might bro. as well get you a Jameis Winston-level quarterback on, or, or a Baker Mayfield type of quarterback. You got the same results. Give him that money and then spread it around as Chuck comes to the bill with a, with a, with a, a look on his face. Perplexed. Chuck came through the door like he was Michael Myers. He was ready for Halloween. He was, he was going to kill somebody. I ain't got no Listen, I got here. I got here first. <laughs> he said, "I got here first. <laughs> and if y'all didn't know, we got. We want to get the small stuff out of the way and leave the good stuff for you. We yeah. talking about the Cowboys. This is small stuff. Uh, yeah, we talking about the Cowboys. Yeah, we, we, we talking about the Cowboys. Is is the are they just playing bad? Are they still salvageable? What about ain't nobody ever heard the fact that they missing two key players off their defense? Does it that doesn't even, matter. Okay. Next man up. They oh. won't have time for all that. Okay. <laughs> okay, Daniel. Hey, I, I don't have no excuses for the Cowboys. They no. they just do what they do every year. Absolutely. This is this is what are we going on thirty years. Yeah, man. I mean, it's, it's something like that. So they need, do they need to uh, go ahead and blow this thing up and keep just Dak and CD and just build around those two? They really don't have no choice. That's the guys they pay. So. Jerry got too much pride to blow it up though. So then, what do you do? You just keep having. Yep. Okay. We're going to keep having mediocre seasons. So we'll go ten and six. So when I made the comment I made, round. Jerry's the problem. Jerry seems to be the problem. Jerry, Jerry ain't going nowhere until that's, that's what when I, you're not winning, and that's one thing I, I can say about the Rams. Uh, we get guys on rookie deals. They usually fit good in our system. They're good at evaluating talent that fits their scheme, and they also are good at identifying people that are actually superstars or people that just excel in their scheme. And when they identify that they don't, they don't pay them. And that's, then they go elsewhere, and somebody else pays them <laughs> that's thirty million. That's on you. And then you don't even know who they are. Exactly. And then they come back to the Rams for low, the low. <laughs> and See, then they come back and you know that's show the thing up about again. The Cowboys, they don't have like they a, pay like a team identity. They like, are we gonna be like defensive led? Are we gonna run the ball? Are we gonna be pat? They just they got a bunch of dudes, and they don't know. It's kind of hard to be a def- a, 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 a run the ball team when you ain't got a running back to run the ball with. So I mean, they, they brought Ezekiel Elliott back, bro. <laughs> like, say. come on, they they brought Ezekiel Elliott back, and then Jerry has the nerve to say Derek Henry doesn't fit our system. He doesn't. Have you seen how they run the ball? Lord have mercy. And off the line, ain't really lining. Nah, I don't, I don't know if Derrick Henry would be having the same type of season behind that, that Dallas Cowboys offensive line. Uh, I, I, I mean, the Ravens offensive line is not good, for real. I, but you have a, more of a threat with Lamar than you have with Dak Prescott. I, Q, I, what? Derrick Henry, Ezekiel Elliott. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. People were saying that Derrick Henry was washed. Come but. on, bro. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> that, a, Come on, bro. At, Ezekiel Elliott's dry clean. <laughs> <laughs> well, you say if Derrick Henry's wife, then Ezekiel Elliott's the dry cleaners then. So, man. So, in, anyways, uh, Dallas Cowboys is done. So, they get a top five pick? <laughs> no, they're not going to be that bad. No, nah, it won't be that bad. Top 15? Yeah. Yeah. They might go 8-8, eight and 7-9 eight, and nine or whatever. Jerry going to blow, the team Jerry gonna blow the pick anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's going to blow it anyway. So. He might pick a kicker. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, so so Dallas is, is pretty Mike much Dick done for. So what what about you? Say y'all, as far as Dak is concerned, y'all said y'all need to blow it up. Daniel, blow it up. Legend, what you think? I don't think they can blow it up because they pay everybody. So I mean, I guess you can get rid of the guys that you didn't pay, but what would be the point in that? They're, they're not costing you any money <laughs> unless you can find people to trade away. You know your defensive players that you paid. That's the only way you can blow it up. You're not going to get rid of Dak because then who else are you going to get a quarterback? Come on, bro. So, basically, Dallas is in a lose-lose situation, basically. Chuck, mm. let's talk about your squad. Come on, man. Your squad. Your Cowboys, Dallas Cowboys. Can they turn it around? No, are, are, are they just plain bad or are they salvageable? They're terrible. <laughs> Everybody know they're terrible. Everybody in this room know that they're terrible. They can't turn it around, Chuck? Why would you even lead out the show? They this can't turn it around, Chuck? How? Cause they, they got they got uh, uh, what's that boy's name Michael Parsons coming back. They got uh, uh, what's that dude uh, Demarcus Listen, Lawrence coming back. You got to be able to put up points on the board. Yep. They can do that. It just How? don't matter. You can't run the ball. That we believe so, in that. No. If you can't run the ball, what does that mean? You got to throw it. You got to throw it. Mm-hmm. And if I know you're gonna throw it, what am I gonna do? Probably cover. Throw everybody back. And so that means you can't throw it. So you can't run it. You can't throw it, which then means you can't put no points on the board. And you which can't then stop means uh, right. Man. Which then means what? Now, your defense is on the field, and they're going to be tired. Yeah. What defense? They ain't had no defense to begin well, with. Well, I'm just saying, you don't want to see Michael Parsons <laughs> and Bland coming back, so that's supposed to be a, They can't even stop the run. Wait till they come back. 
Like today. Wait, wait till it's, Michael Parsons comes back. Do, don't they play Tampa this year? They do. I just look they come back after that. And, 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 who, and who are you going to take in that game? Oh, Tampa Bay all day long. Uh, okay. Tampa, uh, Tampa why? Bay. That Tampa, might be the, that might Tampa, be the one. Tampa, Tampa ain't got nobody. That's what I'm saying. Tampa can't. Tampa, Tampa ain't got nobody. It might be that Tampa one ain't got no, Tampa, Tampa ain't got. Tampa has four wins. Though. I just look at the schedule. We got, we got people coming back. Who they got? No, I'm just What's saying. You ain't, got, like? you ain't got no receivers. We, you ain't got, got no running back. They coming but back. You, but you picking Dallas. Uh, but you picking Tampa to win. I'm picking Tampa. Okay, so what does that tell you? That's just the one L they're going to have. That's it. Oh, man, you crazy. That's the, hold, hold on, hold on, man. Dave. Hold on, we got a call on the line. Call on, what's your name, man? You know who it is. Oh, uh, my name is Larry Starks. You know. Oh, <laughs> we got we got the comedian Larry Starks on Come the phone. Stacy, what's going on with you? What's going on, my guy? Oh, what's man, up, you, man? You already what's see. Go Colts. We. Oh, uh, is that how we? Was that He's what we Colts doing? Fan. We talking about He's no a Colts, Colts fan. fan. What, what's your coach doing, Starks? Hey, listen, man. Being a Colts fan is a form of self hate. <laughs> <laughs> So, so talk to us a, uh, real quick before we get you up out of here. Two things I want to discuss with you. One of them, you probably already know what it is, but uh, the other one is the Dallas Cowboys, man. Are, are, is their season over, done with? Are they just playing bad? Are they got a chance to turn it around or what? Uh, I don't think they got a chance to turn around as long as Jerry Jones is at the helm. I think for decades he has held this team back from being great, and I don't think no Cowboys fan wants to admit it, but I don't ever trust anybody that wears those same blue and gray Jordans. <laughs> <laughs> Key, uh, uh, Steezy, while we got you on the phone, man, uh, you know, I lost it. Uh, we know everybody in here except for Ralph is a Los Angeles Lakers fan. That's a fact. So talk to us about the Lakers and the whole Bronny LeBron oh James God. thing. Well, first off, I knew Ralph was a uh, Lakers fan by his haircut. But besides that, uh, you know, the whole Los Angeles Lakers and LeBron thing, uh, I just think. You know, greatness brings haters, man. And if you notice, anybody that's doing good, they always got some something to say about them. They don't ever talk about the people that ain't doing well, you know what I mean, because it ain't going to draw that much conversation up. So with the Lakers and LeBron, I mean, you know, I don't know nobody else of that age that's working at that caliber uh, and no no venue, no market, you know what I mean? So we can't do nothing but commend it and witness it right now, man. You know, it's greatness. That's, that's what I'm talking 100%. about. Stars. That's what I be trying to tell them. Charles be hating on it. Uh, uh, Ralph Clay be what? hating on it, man. They had to ask Larry Starks who, 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 who the GOAT is. See what he tell you. Who the GOAT, Larry Starks? Who the GOAT? Yeah. James, what are you talking about? We'll say it one time for the one time. Who is the GOAT? Le- LeBron James is the GOAT. What are we talking about? Oh, now, wait a minute. Oh, you, you, your mic's nah, on. Nah, 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 Larry, now, Stark, you know how you used to bust your tail on, on the basketball court? <laughs> oh, That's no why. LeBron? Because you're a, Le- you're a LeBron oh. fan. You're a LeBron sex one. You know who the man is. You know it's Jeffrey. You know it's Michael Jeffrey <laughs> Jordan. I don't even know how you're doing this to yourself. To go, but you know what? You can have it. Go, go ahead. Basketball. Yeah, him playing basketball. Him and Deion Sanders got the same fingers. I was taking it easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Steezy, we appreciate you for calling through, my guy. I don't know, before we get off here, let the people know some uh, upcoming comedy shows you got going on. Upcoming comedy show, listen, man, November 8th and 9th, that's a Friday and Saturday, coming up at Comedy on Broadway. November 8th and 9th at Comedy on Broadway with my homeboy Josh Prey, man. So make sure y'all pull up. Yes, there sir. it is. We got the comedian Larry Stars. Well, Comed- appreciate Sorry, you, appreciate you calling in, my guy. Hey, keep grinding, y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, I, I, I got a quick question. Go ahead. Before you go to commercial. Go ahead. Oh, not really a question. I just want to send a shout out. I want to <laughs> send a, send a shout out for uh, to uh, uh, Lawrence Fishburne for his, new, for his new for uh, his new new statue in Miami. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was gonna ask y'all fair and foul how y'all felt about man, that, that was, statue. That man. was foul, bro. That was Lawrence Fishburne <laughs> and Predator. Now nah, that was foul, bro. And the thing is, people was like, well, maybe Dwayne Wade didn't see it, but you seen the pictures. He did see it. He seen y'all. it before. He saw it. He saw but it seems to be a common theme with a lot of these statues that are not looking like the players. Even the Kobe statue, the Shaq Ralph, statue. You don't make it's a not statue. Really as bad, you don't Even the Allen Iverson statue. You know the statue look real good, though. Who, who's that? Michael Jordan. Yeah, it looked just like him, don't it? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Kobe's, look, Kobe's look good, too. Kobe's was all right. Yeah, yeah, see, they, 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 put them, yeah. they put them two up there. You know what I'm saying? These other dudes are like, yeah. hey, whatever. Well, the dude that made Jordans made Kobe. Oh, there makes it makes sense. Well, uh, makes sense. It, 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 makes it, sense. Too, too great. Yeah, too goats. Alan Iverson's only about. <laughs> <No>. <laughs>
We can't make a statue, so my guy's still playing, so we can't make a statue. No worries, he'll get one. He probably won't look like him, but he'll get one. We'll get one in three different locations. As we take a quick call, we got nothing in L.A. We get one in L.A. too. All right. He will get one in L.A. Miami, Cleveland, and watch we win this chip this year in L.A. We're going to have one out there, too. Why we get LeBron a statue? Why not? It'll be you know they're going to say he was the greatest like ever. Don't worry, it'll be vandalized. <laughs> <laughs> he'll, get his, he'll get his jersey retired. Uh, he'll be there too. We're going to put it on top of uh, on crypto because, you know, yeah, we yeah, got the yeah, we go over everybody. In, in Miami's arena. They, they, they took it down. No, they didn't. It's still, still, still up there. He still knows it. He knows. Yeah. That's Old, why they a trash organization. But anyway, right, we're going right to take here, quick. And LeBron's is right here. We're going to take quick. We ain't got no statue in front of Miami. But anyway, we're going to take a commercial break of Beyond the Game with oh, WLX 93.9 FM. When we come back, we'll talk about Kawhi Leonard, Joel and B sitting there. We'll yeah. talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers. And why is Daniel Jones still the quarterback of the Thank New York Giants when we why come back? New York, the state, on, on TV and football. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Jets are. I should say the city because the Buffalo's all right. Buffalo. Yeah. Hey, Ryan, why? Hey, Daniel Jones, Ryan, why? Wait, 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 we was on the you same page two weeks ago. You were on the same page last week. He was a top five quarterback last week. I ran through that schedule. Oh, the past. So it changed from one week to the next. Who? You got to give credit at the time. At the time. Is that a good game? He had multiple good games. Lamar. Lamar. He just had a good game. Couldn't beat Jameis Winston. We talking about before they got beat by Cleveland, bro. He was a top five quarterback in the league. Would Brady, Brady have lost to James Winston? That's a good question. Yeah. I'm not here to defend. I'm not one of the Lamar. So don't put that. me in that group, bro. James Winston. I said Brock Purdy. Is. Lamar, this year, so far, is having a better season than last year. Yeah. He shouldn't have been the MVP last year, but we agreed on that. Yeah. It should yeah. have been Christian McCaffrey. Yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. So you, you need to go with Sean Gurton, Andrew Morrell. Reginald, because I can't wait till he calls in today. Oh, Where you yeah. at, Reggie? Yeah, you know he calling. You know he yeah. calling. Nah, he might not. Yeah, you know, what, you know what, he might not show up. Nah, it's Packers. They they won. Uh, they barely beat the Jaguars, so he's feeling this. He might not show up. We're a little hurt again. Growing, yeah. Welcome back to Beyond the Game on WLXU 93.9 FM. Let me see if the caller's still there. Caller, you there? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I knew it. I knew it. We got, we got Reggie on. What'd you say, Reggie? What's up, James? I heard, I heard him doing great. Uh, uh, he ain't going to show up. To, hey, I'm going to be here with God. Brody beat the Jazz. Hey, we is a win at the end of the day, my brother. We're sitting, well, we're sitting too right now. Ready? Detroit from the town. We're ready to tap them real quick. No, you know. Oh, no, sir. No, you slow down. <laughs> you on that stuff again. Slow down. <laughs> you say, they say you ain't getting that dub against the Lions, Reggie. What you think about that? Hey, man. Packers, Packers back three. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> Packers I'm, by three. I'm, I'm rolling with you, Reggie, bro. I got you. Packers by three, Ain't bro. no way. Not that you. offense, the way the Lions are cooking go, right Go now. ahead, Chuck. I mean, hey, I mean, I how, how, how's, how, how's Lamar feeling? Hey. How am I feeling? Oh man, okay, let me. Uh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, right. before the Ralph, see, that's what I'm saying, Ralph. This is why you. Need, this is why you, Denver Bronco fans, need to stick. I'm gonna go. You know what? Thank you, you know what I'm about to do this. I'm not doing my Daniel mode since Daniel's out today. I'm about to do my Daniel mode. Please so he, he, he I want to know how is Lamar who passed for. 300 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions, no, no, no turnovers on the day. Uh, 102 passing rating, quarterback rating. And uh, his defense drops four interceptions and lets James Winston drag the field and get a game winning touchdown for him. And I'm going to take that back to Rashad Bateman. Dropping the ball and trying to break the ceiling. It was a bad drop. I pass, agree. Though. I agree with that. It was a bad drop. But it was an underthrown pass. You play football. Catch <laughs> the ball. Who catches your hand? Probably die. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what, what? What you got to say about? So, what did Lamar Jackson do? What, what was his whole? You know. Uh, oh, Lamar! Lamar did he? He did what he was supposed to do. 
So, the, so that loss ain't on Lamar. It's on everybody else but Lamar. That's how they... I mean, it's on Lamar because he's the quarterback. You know, we always want to give the loss to the quarterback because he lost it. Oh, he lost to James Winston. No, I, he didn't let James Winston pass for 300 yards on the deep. The, 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 the last one defense. <laughs> I have heard for the last five years. Look, oh, he got a top, he got a top 10 defense. He got the number one defense. They got the last one pass defense. <laughs> how, how you feel, Reggie? Tell me how you feel, man. Hey, Reggie. Hey, how they go from the the best defense last year to the worst defense this year? I mean, they got you, you let a couple people walk. You let uh, Patrick Queen walk to, to Pittsburgh, who's, who's looking like looking like they. they hey, I want to give a shout out to, my, to, to the young boy Beanie Beanie from Louisville to cut. You know, play at TIP High School. Give a shout out to the young boy. Been been knowing him since he was in Little League. They, hey man, they, they, they still looking all right. Looking all right. Hey, you better give the Steelers some respect. That's the best team in the AFC North. So please give them some respect. Rap. You all Shut up. <laughs> What's our record this year, Reggie? The same as the Ravens. I don't even know what y'all record is. Hey. I don't know. Hey, it's the same as the Ravens. What's record? As Lamar, the greatest quarterback in the NFL, so you would say. Oh, yeah, he's definitely, he's definitely the best player in the NFL right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Chuck, Chuck, did you hear that? He yeah. said he's the best player in the NFL. Yeah. Over Pat Mahomes. I Ooh. said best player. Not best, the best quarterback is Patrick Mahomes. Bro, but, hey, bro, you, you got player, quarterback, it's all the same thing. It's all the same thing. I mean, it's the same thing. Either nah, he nah, is or nah, he nah. ain't. Reggie. Nah, nah, nah. Lamar the athlete. <laughs> That's a fact. So, somebody's admitting to it. Hey, look, I'm going to go on record just so Lamar's can hear me. He's having a better season than last year. Last year, he shouldn't have been the MVP. We all agreed it should have been Christian McCaffrey. They won't give it to a running back, just like they didn't give it to Adrian Peterson when he rushed for over 2,000, just like they didn't give it to Derrick Henry. Come on, man. But this year, and I'm not saying he should win the MVP, so don't jump ahead. They, they about to I'm just saying, he's playing better than last year, but this is what Lamar does. He gives you about four or five weeks sometimes three or four, mm -hmm. and then everybody's like, oh, Lamar, he's the greatest thing i ever seen. And then next thing you know, he does something like this, and then they're like, oh, dang, it's the same Raven. <laughs> <laughs> yep. What, so, what did he do? What, what, what did he, do? He, he lost to a one-win team mm -hmm. with a backup quarterback. Backup to the backup quarterback. And he yeah. has these the type backup. of losses. Yeah. He has these type of losses every year. Hmm. You can go back and look at it, and then you're like, well, how did they lose to them? But then they go out and they beat the Bills or – you know, so I think you beat the Chiefs one time in the regular season. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they beat teams like that and they go out and they lose to mm, the Jags or something. Yeah, so. He's got so that, he still has his moments where he, like, like he can't, hey, he's can't too indecisive about yeah. what he's going to yeah. do. But. Sometimes he should run, he don't run. Yeah. But I get the narrative or whatever. But if you're trying to win every game – and that's that's your strength. You, you do what you do what you do. And then do he tries to force best. a fair like when they play who they lose to, uh the season. At the end of the game last last week too. He did it last week. He had run lanes and he just kept buying time back there to mm -hmm. throw Trying almost to interceptions, point. throwing the ball out of bounds. That mm -hmm. didn't make sense. Patrick Mahomes Thank wouldn't you. have did that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, well, I love when you do this. <laughs> <laughs> if, 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 Josh Allen would have pet would have did 20, 23 for 38, 289, two touchdowns, 50 yards rushing, no interceptions, no fumbles, then you would have blamed his defense. I've seen you do it before. <laughs> Shout out to Brock Purdy. <laughs> Brock Purdy, top five quarterback. Hey, <laughs> you heard that, Andrew? Brock Purdy's not top five quarterback. <laughs> hey, man, he was—he was. What he finished second in the MVP last year. He got to be top five, man. Top five, top five, top five, top five. <laughs> he is not no top five quarterback. <laughs> hey, they, some would say Lamar ain't either, but we, we'll leave that. You know where it's at. You, you, that's you saying that because you're a Broncos fan. <laughs> hey, man, the Broncos got the same record as Thank the Ravens. You, man. You keep talking about the Broncos. We good right now. I don't care what the real record is. <laughs> well, I can tell you this you'll see the Rams in the playoffs. Oh, that's true. Oh, there, there, it was funny when they didn't have their receivers. Now they got their receivers. Don't know why you want to play them. Yeah, man. That is a fact. Why were they trying to trade them all? Because they didn't know what they, you yeah, know, they, 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 come, the, they were going to come back in time. Cooper Cup. I, what I say, you can go, you yeah. can pull the film up. I say if they get everybody back, 
by week nine, they'll be in the Mello. playoffs. Mellow, mellow. And I also feel so the once everybody went down in the West, I said they got a chance to win the West. Yeah. You did. When the, when the Packers and Rams play, what happens? When the Packers and Rams play, who they have? Did you struggle to beat us or not? It would have been an excuse. But now, Mellow's trying to kill you. See what I deal with? Y'all struggled to beat the Rams' backups. What y'all win by? 10, maybe? 5, 24 to 19. Yeah, 5. My bad. Hey. Brother, I don't care if we went back 25. Win, 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 win. Win, win. Win, win. Win, win, brother. Y'all not going to win this Sunday, brother. Huh? Y'all not going to win this Sunday, brother. Y'all not winning this Sunday, he said. Time out, time out, time out. Let me see. Hold on. What's a 425 game? Where's that game at? Is Jordan Love going to play? It don't matter where it is. Yeah, is Jordan Love going to play? He didn't practice today. Nah, it's a wrap. It don't matter if you play or not. They still going to lose. They still going to lose. I'm rapping with you, Reggie. Don't do it to yourself, Q. No, don't do it. I'm telling y'all, 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 y'all all on this, this Jared Dolph. He MVP. He a and, I mean, what they put up, 52 I, points? I don't know. I'm just telling you, I'm just talking football. Y'all don't lose. 49. And Jordan Love's my guy. He's my quarterback. We still, He's still going to lose to the point I ain't going to play him. I'm actually going to play Matt Stafford. They put up 52 points and their quarterback threw for 86 yards. That's how dominating they were. Come on, man. Offense is looking okay. good. <laughs> he, he said, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Q, Q. Yeah. Leave it with this, Q. When we win Sunday, you got you to have a show t- Tuesday. Monday. Forget that. Forget that. I need a show Monday. I need Mello, Ralph, and Pat Mahomes daddy to be there. <laughs> hey, Reg. Hey, we can make it happen we, for you, but we, before you go, man, I just got to say L's down, bro, all day, every day. Hey, man. We're about to beat some football and basketball, bro. You about to be so hurt. No, sir. <laughs> Oh, man, Reggie, we appreciate you for calling in, my brother. All right, man. All right. I'll let y'all. Yes, sir. He is, he emo- he is, emo- yeah, he's he's like, emotional, he's man. He's, he's like, his feelings is hurt. Love what? Lamar. You know how they are about it's, Lamar. His feelings is hurt. Man, I didn't re- you know, I didn't even know UK lost this weekend. I had no idea. The football team? I yeah. saw the yeah. score when yeah. they were down, but yeah. Yeah, I didn't know. Nobody pay attention to football. I don't pay attention to football team no more. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm trying it's, to say. It's basketball it's season. It's basketball season, so. Yeah. Oh, have they played yet? Yeah. yeah. yeah they played two, we played two, two exhibition games. games. Two exhibitions, yeah. 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 Uh-huh. yeah Monday is first game. I number played before. K-State and Duke is going to smash us. Nice. You think so? How, how did they play? How did they look? Um, It's just hard to tell playing the competition they play. He said hard to tell. Keezy said Duke is going to smash them. Like that? Um, no, he asked how they played in the game. I'm just focusing well, on how the they game. Look, they, look, how they, they look, they look, they, they look pretty good. They shoot, they shoot a lot of threes. A lot of threes. But but I've seen people but but, come but, uh, <laughs> but, be all right. but come November twelve, they probably won't. But they're gonna be alright. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be ugly, bro. You know what? That's why y'all realistic UK basketball. Yeah, when I heard, I am. yeah, y'all all right. <laughs> While I'm on there, yeah, y'all. All right. When I heard UK let that guy, that Carlton. Do his rap song. I knew it was going to be a long season yeah. for y'all. Hey, did you hear the rap song? That song was awful. It was terrible. Terrible. It was, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, terrible. Butler. I know you my guy. I'm sorry. It was but terrible. It was, it was, it was, it was. Hold on. We got another caller. Before we get to you, caller, we're going to take a quick commercial break on Beyond the Game on WLXU 93.9 hey, yeah, FM. When we come back, we'll talk about no. the Pittsburgh Steelers. We'll talk about the Daniel show when we come back. Jax Robinson's gonna have to shoot the ball the same way he did last night. I have the one kid playing. The only person I'm mad that we brought back was Proctor. I like Proctor, but not as a point guard. The kid from Dead in the Mountains. He got in the first game. Perry or Noah? Travis Perry or Noah? Trevor Noah. Yeah, Perry's the one that's from the Mountains. Yeah, how's he playing? He ain't really getting no clock like that. Oh, really? They, Noah's they getting, got a little bit of clock in that. Noah's getting more clock than yeah. Perry is. Hmm. I think Noah has more size. I think that's partly why he's getting more clock. But yeah, they ain't really gonna score. I mean, I think we're gonna be we're gonna be straight on defense because them. Yeah, they play defense. Yeah. I like Butler. Like he's gonna lead the charge as far as defense. But I'm telling you, always. I think always a secret weapon, bro. 
if you let your handle get silly out there with Butler, it's just, oh, yeah, Butler gonna take you. Yeah. It's just, man, it was, it's just some things I've seen last night. I'm just like, oh, here we go. Disappointed, man. <laughs> like, like, oh, boy, Kobe Berea. I just wanted he wanted he didn't stand out to me like I thought he would, man. I thought he was going to be one of the key factors on this team. I thought he was going to be a key factor. Um, I mean, there's always yeah. next year, though, you know what I'm saying? That's what we kept saying with Coach Cal. Yeah. Wait till next year, baby. We got a new recruit class yeah. coming in. We're going to focus on this year. Yeah, Arkansas is going to be a problem. Oh, yeah, yeah. Arkansas is going to be a problem. Yeah, they are. Arkansas is going to be a problem, but really the only game I'm scared of is Duke. We might lose more, but Duke is the only team I'm like, damn, they're going to beat us up. I hate Duke. Damn. Kentucky's ranked 22, though. Huh? Kentucky's ranked 22. Mm-hmm. I, I think, think we're 15th or something like that. 15th or 11th or something like that. Yeah, I just got dogs on y'all teams. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know you know. I don't watch yeah. them run a couple times, but yeah. okay, we got some boys this year. Cooper Flag, I don't care what nobody say. He is the national player of the year. Welcome back to Beyond the Game on WLXU 93.9 FM. We had a call on the line before we went to commercial break. Let's find out if we still got him there. Caller, what's your name? Ah, Caller, you still there? He's gone. Yes, sir. I'm still here, man. I'm still here. Hey. <laughs> what's up, Drew? <laughs> Drew. Charles, how you looking hey, up like that? Hey, Drew. How you <laughs> doing, Drew? buddy? You doing all right? Yeah. I'm great. I'm great, man. Hey, I wasn't even going to call in tonight, but oh, I heard somebody call my name. Yeah, so yeah you had to, Drew. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 we, you know we had to hear your voice, Drew. We had to hear from you, Drew. Yeah. They want. They want to talk about. They want to know why did Lamar Jackson lose to the third string quarterback on Sunday? <laughs> hey, <laughs> so I can't give you expert analysis because I was too busy. Uh, in Cincinnati. That's right. He was at the at the Eagles game. Yeah, my oh, yeah, he sure was. Yeah, he was at the, the Bengals Eagles game. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I sure was. A shout out to my birds for that get right victory. I needed that live and in person. Uh, but from what I checked, man, Lamar. I mean, it wasn't turnovers. Like it, I, I really couldn't get a read of how the game was. Obviously, it's a bad loss. It's a loss that you don't need to have. Um, but from everything that I heard, it's more about the way that the Browns and James played. Uh, as opposed to, you know, Lamar having two, three turnovers or a big crucial turnover in an opportune time. So the stats look like, I mean, he had a good game. Uh, he just got beat. And that's why they say any given Sunday in the NFL. I know. I don't know about that, Drew. I mean, Cincinnati's terrible. I mean, y'all should have won that game. <laughs> I mean, right. everybody thinks since he's going to come back. Since he ain't coming back, back. they're done. Since he's done, you know, I would have been yeah, getting on your, I would have been getting on your case, Drew, if Philly lost that game. Hey, but you gotta say, my boy Hurts has looked good since the bye week. No turnovers. He's one of been one of the better quarterbacks yeah, in the league. He's been running. Week. <laughs> and and they've been giving the ball to Saquon too. Hey, hey, I'm fine with that. What, what you gonna pay that man all that money for if you ain't gonna lean on him? Hey, it's, it's straight, I agree. It's right. Straight like that. But uh, you don't want to give no fault to Lamar Jackson at all for taking the taking the L. I, mean, I, I mean, I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him the fault in the L, just like I do in the W. I mean, he didn't do enough to win the game. That's that's the bottom line when it comes down to it. So, I mean, if I'm gonna call y'all every week when he outperforms, I gotta call you when he underperforms. But like I said, I can't. I can't give you too much on it just because I ain't see it. <laughs> a, a man of integrity, Drew. Yeah, a man of integrity. That. Look at that. Oh, ain't a lot of them oh, people well. out there. That, that, that's all right, Drew. That's all. Who, who y'all got coming up this week, Drew, for the Eagles? Jacksonville. Shout out to Brian Reigns. We coming, baby. Uh, hell. Oh, that, that, are you talking about for the Jaguars? Yeah. No, for, for Philly. It'd take a hell. You, you, you like, you like uh, the Jaguars? No, I okay. don't like Philly. They're going to take a hell. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, SK, SKJ, he's on, he's on the side of the end of the video. <laughs> it's good to see you again, KJ. I was going to say it was good to see you, but now you done dogging for team. Like, all right, man. My bad, man. My bad, my bad. Oh, man. <laughs> my boy, my boy. But, Drew, we appreciate you for tapping in with us, my guy. Yes, sir, fellas. Y'all be good, man. Yes, sir. Bro. Hey, I, I got yeah. one thing. Hey, go ahead, go ahead. hey, hey, man. So you remember all this, uh, all the, all the stuff I be getting in the chat when they be talking about? Cause you're a UK fan, right? Basketball, mm -hmm. yes, sir. Basketball. All day. All Is right. there any other basketball team out there? Oh, I don't know. I yeah, just I Chuck, 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 finish, finish, finish your statement. Yeah. I'm so, not listening. So, to this, boy. so you remember, you remember in the chat where they would always get on my back and they'd send me little messages and they would say, "Hey, man, you know when you gonna get that boy Reed Shepherd? 
his, you know, his flower. Oh, man. <laughs> I remember that. Jeez, it was right? And it, right? And, 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 and what did I say? You did. I said. You're right. I, we just want to wait. Yeah, you're right. To the regular season. To the regular season. Right there. And I want to see nah, he, if he's going to be able to do it against. You're Smith. right. Okay. So, look, to, to rebuttal against that. What? Nobody's. Is anybody talking about the Lakers winning the championship? I hope nope. not. Nope. They 3-1, they and one, right? Yep. Why is that? Because it's still early, right? Yeah. So it's no, still no, 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 but but ten to fifteen. But he was averaging like yeah. close to twenty yeah. in the summer league. Yeah. Right. He's not right. even starting. And that's what gassed everybody up. And he and the man ain't even the man ain't scored more than six points in the game. He, he, he getting about ten, fifteen minutes a game, you know. I, I'm just I, I just want I just want to bring perspective. That's what, I'm not ten. He's averaging two and a half points a game. I, I you know who you am I? <laughs> who am I? Charles B. Legend. I ain't Watson. nobody. I'm just saying <laughs> they won't give me they won't give me hell. We, we still are. Don't worry. Okay. Right. We okay. still we still right. are. What's, what's, what's his minutes? How many minutes? Time. We got, we, How we many still... minutes is he playing? Yeah. He's playing 10 minutes a game. Yeah. Yeah. So, so he ain't really getting no clock for no real. No time. I'm just saying. We, listen, Come on, you dog. Give him some more clock. He was a top five pick. We got 75 games. We got plenty of time for Reed Shepard to turn around and have a I can't believe Q is defending Reed Shepard. I'm confused right now. What's going on? I like the kid. Okay. I'm just confused. I've never seen anything like this. But when I was talking to just straight basketball, they wanted jump on me. Yeah, me, like me Ralph, <laughs> uh, Derek, Ike, <laughs> Chris Jola. Think we all jumped you. Yeah, he's, y'all all jumped. Bro, he's a bandwagon jumper, hey, bro. I can't hey, understand the draft pick when hey. he got Fred VanVleet. Well, I mean, on. I guess he's a future pick. I don't know. I, I yeah. guess so. Yeah. And then they signed him. I ain't heard nobody saying that since the beginning of the Well, I ain't heard nobody saying nothing about my, our Lakers. They, yeah. they signed it right now, too. There's nothing to say. We know exactly. what's going to happen. We, 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 uh, 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 KJ, watch him out. Watch him out. Everything watch him is good. Out. <laughs> Let's be silent. Let AD do what he Average do. 28, mm-hmm. 29. LeBron's yep. going down. Yeah, 21, 22, something does like does that. Just pray AD can have. play 55 huh? games. I told you, I watch him out say. one time. That's twice. If he keeps, AD keeps having to do this, how many games will he well, last? That, 46. That's correct. He can't carry the load like that. He got to but. Playing with a lot of That's energy. That's what Bronny but come in. Not, but we're not, not talking about I like that energy. Goodness. That's what Bronny I like that energy. In. You said who? Bronny. Bronny. That's what he come in. Curry we might, as, might, go on we might as well start <laughs> talking about Reece Shepard again. Yeah. All right, next, next up. <laughs> hey, look. Man. Shout out I'm to a, Bronny, man. I'm a Lakers fan. Yes, we are. And I'm going to say this. Which, which Just like say? I said about the Ravens. They're going to do the same thing they always do. And when that Super Bowl comes, they're going to be on the couch. I hate to say it, hey, man, but... NBA Cup coming up, baby. Hey, you know, I hate to say it, but the Lakers is not winning the championship. Oh, no. Without a trade. Without a trade. Not without a trade. Not without a trade. I mean, they, they they my dark horse, though, to win the West. Oh, no. They, the West, I'm telling you. I'm going to tell you. I I will, like, and the West is wide I will, open. I will right? say this. The West is wide open. They're going to cause problems in the West. Yeah. They are. I think they will. They're going to cause problems. Right, because there's no clear-cut favorite in the West. Mm-hmm. They, they, they Denver's... I, I, was going, I was getting ready. as my next question about Denver. No, no. Mike was like, you know, I, what's going on with Denver? Like, is it they just... Lost too much. I don't think KCP's that. gone. Who else did they lose? When well, they lost, wasn't they Bruce Brown? Bruce they Brown, Bruce Brown. KCP. KCP is gone. I mean, those two just having those solid role players. Yeah, man. I mean, that, those that's those three uh, And then, of course, they had it rust. They had it rust. So, mm-hmm. I mean, it's I not just, a coincidence. When you, when you have a team with no stars, I mean, you got Jokic. Yeah. Right. When you have a team with no stars. That's not a team, unless you got a Popovich or something. Yeah. But that's not a team that. Is going to be dominant for four or five years. Yeah. You Bruce Brown and uh, KCP, that's not going to keep you as an advantage for four or five years. They had that little two or three year run, and it's over. Jokic, they caught, light, caught lightning in the bottle. Yeah, you know what you saying? Basically, Yo, Jokic had to score forty the last two nights just for them to win. He's averaging what thirty three or something. Brooklyn by four mm-hmm. points. I think he had forty eighteen and six. What was the one like night he hit like seven or eight threes and they still lost? Yeah, I mean they they, um, they lost too. So then, much. what's the problem? What, what's the problem? I know, I know, I know. You said they lost too much, but I mean, Joker, he should. You should beat Brooklyn. 
If you putting up enough, if you putting a stat line like that up, everybody else ain't, everybody else ain't uh, stepping up to the plate. Hey, you remember uh, how many years? It's about four years ago. Uh, anybody else still want to say Jamal Murray's a superstar? Oh my God! You know he wishes. He wishes. Wishy- he's say it. That's what, what I'm what saying. What KJ said. He's wishy washy. Now you don't know what you're gonna get day to day. Come into play, right? Because that's ability. You still need, because mm-hmm. you know, where's Michael Porter Jamal- Jr. He's there, but so Mike, he just he's not consistent either. All he's gonna do is shoot. Three. Three. He's not consistent. If he's gonna bet a game, bet him to shoot. You and know. he trade him to Boston. That's the only yeah. team he can play for us. You know? <laughs> yeah. he, he don't play no defense. I can't believe Denver had the best Bruce Brown since he's been in the NBA. Yeah. Let them go. Yeah. Yeah. Let them go. That Bruce Brown that they had played for the Nets, they still would have won without James. Because they don't, appre- then, they don't then, appreciate then, players then like went, that. And then he yeah. went, where did he go? The Pacers, he ain't nowhere to be found. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They don't even play him. Like yeah, mm-hmm. he ain't nowhere to be found. Mess with success. Yeah. KCP, he went down to Orlando. Yeah. They, that made the playoffs. And they killing. And Pablo A with 50. He 50. The other night, yeah, yeah. The other night. Yeah. Yeah. He's solid though. Even though he's a dookie, but he's solid. Yeah. Hey, I didn't make the post, but I was gonna say, what UK player y'all got right now doing that? Because you know they always not one comparisons. Not AD? one. Well, not the fifty ball, but I mean, yeah, AD. AD's probably close. AD's probably the closest thing. I was yet. hoping he got six. I can see D Fox putting up fifty one game this year. I don't I can, know if he'll do it on a consistent basis. I, I can see the Aaron. Fox. So I could be in the playoffs. Go stay questionable. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Oklahoma Boy. City. Oklahoma City. Oh, I forgot about right. Shay. Yeah, don't forget about Shay. Minnesota, Shay can go Minnesota fit. Minnesota just Minnesota. Yeah. They 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 got beat last night they by regressed. by that Don. Luca the Don. The Don. <laughs> he, ain't, hey. he ain't even Luca. He, he say Luca, but Kyrie hit that shot though. Yeah, but the Don. Luca hit that ceiling shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Luke's the man. Yeah, but Kyrie was cooking. It. Kyrie was cooking last. Yeah, for sure. And that's they why. let him get Clay. Yeah, See, that's why I went with Dallas, man. Everybody else went with OKC. You just never know what you're gonna get from Clay, man. He's up and down man, too, man. man. At the dime, but man. he's shooting about eight threes a game, so yeah. that's, he's gonna put some. As long as he can knock him down, yeah, Dallas is gonna be a problem. Worst case, he's gonna give you three out of eight. Speaking of the NBA, we got two superstar players right now who are not currently playing for their respective teams, and they have huge contracts. One or well, both of them were actually scheduled to play for Team USA. One guy did, the other guy opted out and decided not to play. I'm talking about Kawhi Leonard and Joel Embiid. Now Kawhi Leonard is out indefinitely, right? With yep. his knee issue, yep. he'll Joel, probably be back in the playoffs. Joel Embiid if was at the first it. week of the uh, NBA season, so fellas, I'm gonna throw it around the horn to y'all. What do y'all think about Kawhi Leonard situation? And then tell me what y'all think about Joel and BKJ. I'm going to throw it over to you first. Tell me about the Kawhi Leonard situation yeah, I'll first. I'll let y'all cook because hey, this man, is a he joke. Might well, he might as well just go and retire. Please. Tool. Yeah, because he he, he going to do this every year. This is – if I was bomber, ain't no way I would have paid him that money. Ain't no you, way, And you just bro. signed him to an extension in de- last December, yeah, I think it was. what? And he's not even going to play on it. You got the best job in the world. Come yeah, on, man. Job. I don't have to show and you got the best seats. Paid. It used to be John Wall. Now it's Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, I'm making all this money, and I ain't. Come on, man, ain't doing nothing at all. I wish I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> I stay home every morning. Yeah, my pajamas all the time. Exactly, all man. Eating top, cereal with top, a fork. Top four, top four <laughs> evil villains in my eyes is uh, Heath Leather's uh, Joker. It'd be Kawhi Leonard, Ben Simmons, <laughs> and Joel Embiid. Joel Claw. Four great evil villains, boy. Well, Ben Simmons playing more than Kawhi. Yeah. Uh, he is, but he's, he's not playing tonight. He's either last night he's or tonight. He's, yeah, he's out again. So, But to your point, he already played more games than Kawhi at this point in time. I mean, he did get two years off, though. Yeah, he, he, that's true. Only, he's only second to John Wall. <laughs> well, Ka- Kawhi doesn't have about six years off, though. He's, he's always like, off. He's that's always off. Uh, he's off. He got the most PTO yeah, I've ever seen in my life, boy. Hey, my God. He got boy. unlimited FMLA, man. My Lord, boy. From the he's like, still in, you like such and such called in again? <laughs> my, my. He's still working. <laughs> it's, it's to the point where they surprised when Kawhi show up now. They, they like playing today. I ain't know that. When the, when the uh, yearly bonuses come around, they like. You know what? We gonna give you some more money. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve it. Like, and you at your desk fired up. <laughs> the bad part about it is Bomber spent all that money on that building. On that new building. Ain't got they nobody to put in it. Well, they got James Harden, it. but he he didn't have the three that he thought he was gonna have to put in that building. Man, because Paul George said enough was enough. Paul George is tired of that circus. George, he knew that was a circus in L.A. Paul George is the same way though. He stay hurt too. He is. And he's not smart. He left L.A. to go to Philly. Yeah, they not winning nothing. Yeah, they, they could if if. If, hey, they, if they could stay. Paul healthy. George left Kawhi to get MB. <laughs> It's an even Good trade. Good job, Paul. Did he not watch with James Harden? The James Harden show Paul. in Philly. It's even trade. It's even trade. What, what about the Joel Embiid situation, KJ? What's your thoughts on that before I go to uh, So what did they Chuck? say about him? He's not going to be able to play back-to-backs like forever? Or? I don't know if it's just this season or if it's just an ongoing situation or what. That's I sad. think he would be all right, but 
he don't want to play like a big man, which I get it now. Everybody, every big man wants to be a guard, but he can't hold up playing like nah. that. He weighs two hundred and ninety. So pounds. my question to y'all is, why did he play this summer for Team USA? It didn't make sense. Didn't make any sense. Yeah, I mean, I don't get if it. If you either. needed that time to rest to be ready for the NBA season, why but, were you but playing hold on, this but, summer? But here's the kicker, and I think me and Chuck we talked about this a couple of weeks ago. He came in the camp. 15 to 20 pounds lighter. So how are you doing all this exercise and getting in shape? you 15 to 20 pounds lighter, and you still missing. Get, somebody's lying somewhere. Because Somebody dudes, lying somewhere. These dudes know that I'm still going to get paid whether I play or not. But just, just say that you, you know, your knee's not fully healed from playing. Just say that. Don't don't say we, he's 15 to 20 pounds lighter, but then he still ain't playing. Like, bro. that defeats the purpose for me, bro. Then why are you getting in shape? Then? You still oh, ain't even playing. You should have took in some Ozempic and put that knee on ice and just call it a day. Yeah. yeah. Call it D. Shout it up with those epic. Chuck, man, what's your thoughts Start on Start taking some of that Kawhi. money away. We'll see how quick he gets out there and oh, play. I, I truly believe at the next CBA before Chess goes. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. The next CBA, so. yeah, something's going to be done about yeah. this, and, and it's going to be because cause of Kawhi, Ben Simmons, yeah. and Joel and B. They're going to find a way to have some kind of play yeah, incentive. Some type of incentive, bro. Into the contracts, mandatory yep. mandatory 65 games. Are you do this? Like, Just like the NFL does. That's how it should it's, be, it's, though. It's got to start going that That's way. That's how it should be. You paying, what, Joel and B, you're going to end up paying him 50, 60. Oh, He's he ain't playing back to back. Let's stop it. Come on, man. What, 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 what are we doing, bro? Kawhi Leonard, you signed into an extension. He ain't even playing at all. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I like, know what the Clippers are doing, though. They're like, we got to see like, what this roster looks like. There's I get no that. Yeah, running Kawhi yeah, into bro. the ground because he's going to get hurt. But Maybe we're talking right. about millions of dollars for you to sit on the bench and cheer for your team. If you can't go, you can't go. Right, right. Like, that's one thing. Like, but. Nah, for Joel Embiid, his his situation specifically because it's like, bro, like y'all said, like he played for Team USA. If you feel like your knee wasn't that healthy, then hey, guy, I, I can't go. Y'all gonna have to get somebody else. Hey, call Jalen Brown back in here exactly. see if y'all get him. Who so. deserved to be on the team? Or just play Tatum. I, I just play Tatum at the yeah. like. We gonna have to go on, small bro. ball or something. And, and I don't know if y'all can see it. Like in the Team USA, he had that big old brace on his knee and like he was bulky and stuff. So, oh, and the only time we really needed him was against Joker, but that's a different story for a different day. They would have lost we, the game. We would have lost it. Yeah, that's true. But at the same time. It's like, bro, if you bet injured, sit down somewhere. But Chuck, Kawhi mm-hmm. Leonard, Joel B, what's your thoughts, man? I keep it simple. Go ahead. I'm thinking about generational wealth. Okay. So what that is is I made a mistake. Okay. I should have went and found like a volleyball player mm-hmm. or <laughs> something like that and created a monster mm-hmm. that was tall enough. And then it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah. Whether he got hurt or not, then I could have been sitting pretty. Yeah. So that's the advice that I'm going to pass on to, to those no, youngins who are listening. too late. Yeah. Or well, no. It's... <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'm sorry. Listen. Hey, look, oh, go, go ahead, Legend. Go press the button up. Go ahead, Legend. Go ahead, Legend. Go ahead, Legend. But, that, I mean, that, you know, that, that's that's what I'm going to pass down to the youngins, man. You know, go go get your old style, you know. Create oh some and, <laughs> and create some generational wealth. Cause they, they are, these boys out here stealing from the league. Stealing, bro. And they the NBA letting them do it. That's what I'm saying. If they go give it to them, let them do it. And I, and, I, and I give it, I give, I mean, LeBron and them do it too, but I, like, they couldn't play on a team with LeBron. They couldn't play on a team with nah. AD. They couldn't do it. That's why LeBron left Miami mm-hmm. because Wade was breaking down. Wade was breaking down, down yeah. and wasn't playing. So, I mean, you know, that's just, they, they ain't trying to win, man. They ain't trying to skate through it, man. What that's you why said? Can't, that's what why they can't said? get these. That's why I can't get none of these guys and put them in the same Absolutely. As Jay. As any of these other killers. As Michael J. I, I agree with you. I'm not putting Kawhi in no conversation with MJ or Kobe or none of that. Come I ain't, bro. Nah, bro, he ain't, he ain't there Come yet. On, I don't even know if he even got 10,000 points yet to me. I like Kawhi, bro. But I'm tired of him. Yeah, I've been, I've been <laughs> tired of him, bro. It started a few years ago for me. I, I'm going to tell you what it was. What? The more and more Kawhi started talking, yeah. the less and less he started playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And when he did that silly laugh, it was like, yeah, he's done. Yeah. Yeah. They started putting him he's in commercials. Done. Yeah, he's done. He's executive producing albums. <laughs> now he's starting to act. He's acting more normal. Now he don't he's play. He's acting normal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. producing albums? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh God. God. Yeah. I mean, he got time on his hands. Might as well do something. You ain't got nothing else to do. <laughs> he ain't, he ain't play. playing basketball. He ain't playing basketball. <laughs> but uh, speaking of, go to the next subject, man. Let's talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers. They're currently sitting at 6-2. and two. They was 4-2 and two with Justin Fields. Now the Russ is taking over. They, he's, he's letting them to two more victories without losing. Now I'm going to play pretender or contender. I'm going to throw it over to Clay first, man. Pittsburgh Steelers at right now contender, pretender. But before you answer, here's the remaining games. 
Commanders, and then they go into the AFC play, AFC North play. They got Ravens, Browns, Bengals, Browns, Eagles, Ravens, KC, Bengals. Just throw that out there before you give your prediction. Contender, pretender. Keep it simple, man. Contender. You, you like their chances against I them? I do like their chances. Okay, okay. Even with Russ at the helm. Russ right. played well last game. I don't know if you noticed. A few touchdowns got taken back. Right. Russ played well I mean, last game. for what? At least a playoff spot. No, playoff, uh, Super Bowl. Playoff, yeah, Super Bowl. Playoffs, I'm not worried about that. Super Pretender. Bowl. Pretender. Super Bowl, because they 6 and 2 right now. <laughs> Pretender. Pretender. Maybe Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Daniel, what we got? Contender, Pretender. I don't even know why you're asking me. <laughs> Pittsburgh is going to make the playoffs like they always do. They're not going to win. Yeah, bro. I don't know what's wrong with Pittsburgh. I think times have changed, and they still think it's 1978. Yes, sir. So they just, they're not going to win, man. There it is. Chuck. They don't have the talent. Simple as that, KJ. Great defense. Marginal R- offense. Russ is, Russ is still Russin. Russ so is still he Russin. Just, he just like Westbrook. <laughs> all the Russes, oh, the all, all the Russes is the same. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna go with y'all the same way. I'm gonna go pretender just for the simple fact of first and foremost they got a brutal AFC North schedule coming up, and then they also play KC as well. So and you got Russell Wilson as your quarterback. Russell Wilson ain't won a big playoff game in how long? So we don't even know if he's even capable of doing that anymore. Before you switch off the Steelers, I do want to ask y'all also real quickly, do y'all feel like the Steelers made the right choice in switching from Fields to Russell? Yeah. TBD. To be determined, I get it. I think yes, because when the game is on the line, you have to be able to throw the ball down the field. Mm -hmm. It can't just be screen, uh, QB run. Slant, uh, yeah. slant, yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to get the ball down the yeah, field, Dinkin and Russell up. Wilson's actually averaging two hundred and seventy-two yards a game ball, right bro. now. So I mean, so you got them as a pretend. I mean, a contender. For some reason, as soon as Russ became quarterback, now Najee Harris is running on, for hundred yards. Exactly. Yeah. So exactly, they got him in so, fantasy. So basically, they the, stacked the box on the field. The Steelers was doing what the the, the Panthers was doing. Once Russ getting, they was like, we got a real quarterback now. Let's start playing for real. Yeah, let's play for real now. But anyways, the New York Giants have had Daniel Jones as quarterback for the. <laughs> last six seasons. The Giants are 2-6 and six right now. Daniel Jones has six touchdowns to five interceptions going on right now. At what point in time, fellas, I'm going to throw it over to you first, KJ. Oh, At what point in time did the New York Giants sit back and be like, hey guys, this ain't it this with ain't Daniel it, Jones? Man. Tomorrow morning? Come on, man. <laughs> Yesterday? Because I don't understand how Daniel Jones is still the quarterback of the New York. I can't, it can't get no worse. Can't get no worse. Nah. So what's, what's the point of still having him as a starting quarterback? He has guaranteed money. That's why he's in there. That's the only reason. That would be correct. If it wasn't for that, he, Bro. you know. But at what point in time do you just say, man, your who, guaranteed money? Who else do they have on the roster, though, quarterback-wise? Daniel Smith? <laughs> <laughs> Cut me my check. <laughs> Daniel I mean, Smith back there. I said, KJ, as go as out there and gets, sling the ball better than it's Daniel still Jones. Be, he's still going to be out there. That's a sad situation. I ain't yeah. going to ask Chuck. Because Chuck is what? Bad, bad Daniel Jones. At what point in time do they say enough? The it's been six it? years at Daniel Jones well, at I the mean, helm. But, but you got to think of it. Over the six years, what has happened? You come into the league. It's oh, all the promise, all the potential. He's a running quarterback, a la Lamar. I, I'm just saying. Okay. Uh, he can throw better than Lamar, though. So uh, are saying. you saying Daniel Jones can throw better than Lamar? Nah, bro. Lamar, yeah. Lamar, stop. <laughs> Legend. Nah, Chuck, tell me how you Legend, feel. Don't do it, nah, Chuck, Chuck, tell me. Don't I said, that. who is a better pure thrower of the ball, Daniel Jones or Lamar a pure Jackson? Pure thrower of the ball? Pure thrower of the ball. Daniel football. Jones. Okay. That's not even being funny. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is, we're, not, we're not talking about athleticism. <laughs> We're not doing, even though he's pretty athletic, but he's not Lamar athletic. He'll get you the first day. He's like yeah, he's like clumsy athletic. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, and, but yeah, again, remember when he had that sixty-seven yeah, yard run and tripped over his own feet? But yeah. if we're talking about, right if we just talking about lit, all that other stuff, just throwing the football. Daniel Jones. It's Daniel Jones. Okay. But when you think about when he came in the league, it was about it was about his legs, it's about him throwing, it's about all of that. But consistently, year after year after year, it's the same stuff. And so when they had a chance not to pay him. They chose to pay him. Mm-hmm. Like, for example, when you had the opportunity not to pay Dak, you chose to pay him, right? Great point. So they had to pay him. The market dictated it. It is what it is. So it's just like anything else, right? It's just like, you know, like like NCAA. You got these guys and you paying them. Mm-hmm. So you're going to play them. That's tough, though, man. Daniel Jones has That's crazy to me, Q. Daniel That's tough. Jones. That's crazy to me. Why is that? That's like we accept being a bad team. That's what I'm saying. That's why I said him. just because he's 50, okay. 60 million, so we, we okay. got to play him. And 
at, at what point in time does it? What message does it send to the rest of your locker room? Like, guys, we've given up. We don't even care no more. Because <laughs> that's what it seems like. Like, we, we got to pay Daniel Jones because we paying fifty million. Forget on, who bro. might help us being the best, best. I mean, we're not making the playoffs, but you know, let's just see what we got in these other guys first. That's like saying we don't even care no more. Like, let's just go on and see. <laughs> I bet they draft the quarterback. Think of, uh, think, think <laughs> they of this. Let's, to. Put, let's put some more on this too. What's that? Not only did you pay him. And make sure he was paid. And you got rid of Saquon. You didn't even pay Saquon. Come on, bro. You didn't even, you didn't even have him out. You didn't even have him out. Come so, on, So, bro. therefore, that by itself should tell you why they playing. Okay. This is the thing. I don't get about the Giants. The Giants' problem is not defense almost ever. Yeah. It's it's but every offseason, they just go and stack up the yeah. defense. <laughs> yeah. I don't get it. They do. Like, and then I'm tired. I'm not. I don't want to get into the Jets that much. But they're trash. Aaron the, Rodgers the is city washed. of New York, New York City. You know, ja- the Yankees finally gave. I get something. it. I get it. You got a Rod, so you wanted to put him on TV. They still getting beat. You let a Rod do whatever he wants to do. He went and got Devontae Adams. But tell me, why are the New York tell Giants on primetime TV weekly? I mean, it's they've been on like three primetime games. Yeah. Who who? Say, you know what's going to be good for ratings? Let's put the Giants. Let's put the Giants on there without Saquon Barkley and just Daniel Jones and Daniel Jones. Like <laughs> what? It was the defense. It's the names on the defense. Yeah, so I, I don't get the Giants. They do have a decent coach. I think he was a good OC. Uh, they just ain't gave, never gave me anything to work with on the offensive side of the ball. I, bro, I don't know what's going. On. I just don't know. Now I will say this: I'm not going to do too much on Daniel Jones. He's not having a horrible season. He's top 13 in passing yards. He's actually got more passing yards than Patrick Mahomes. His passer rating is, is only play well. five points lower than Patrick Mahomes this year. See, so so he's not playing that bad. I mean, he's got a 79. I wouldn't say that because Pat Mahomes hasn't played well this season, do so it would be hard to <laughs> compare hmm. his numbers to Pat so, Mahomes. So is he the problem? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, he's you know, I, you know, I think that's interesting. You know how it's, you know, they when Patrick, I, I know when Patrick yeah. don't put up numbers and all that, but they six and zero. Oh, they are. They winning, right? Mm-hmm. Even though all his people been hurt, but they still winning. Excuse but then it says numbers are down because he's not producing. But they winning. He had a season like It's not all on him, though. Two or three. Well, I, I think know, it was two but, years. But, but defense is playing. Said, defense but is just, playing well. But you just said he's trash. I said I said Pat Mahomes was trash. Yeah, you said yeah. No, I said Aaron Rodgers is trash. No, you said Patrick Mahomes. No, I said Pat trip. Mahomes hasn't played well. Let's roll back the uh, tape. Okay. I just said uh, he hasn't okay. played well this year. Uh, yeah. So it's hard to compare you. Daniel Jones to Pat Mahomes when Pat Mahomes hasn't played well this year. Well, he ain't had no, he ain't had nobody to play well with. I, no, I ain't, hurt. I'm just. But he still willed those dudes to to, to victory. They still. I don't think out. it was all him though, man. I think it was the defense. The yeah. the, the Kansas City Chiefs had what the New York Giants wish they were. Aaron Rodgers that is actually top eight in passing yards. Who is? Aaron, Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers. Yep. Still can't get no wins. It's not just – I know they want to blame Aaron Rodgers. It's that team is just trash. Terrible. I think it's a. It's not a team. It's a collection of guys yep. with the Giants. Were, I mean, the again, Jets. But, again, they were, they were top – Top three in defense last year. Yeah, but they were but, top but when, five in defense this year. So but far. when you let go of the guy who's a defensive mind coach and you let him go, of course the defense is like, man, what are we doing here? They, solid? Yeah. It the didn't de- make sense. The defense yeah. didn't want him to go. He the defense petitioned to keep him. They tried to keep how him. how you feel about him as a head coach. He's so, a heck of a yeah. defensive coordinator. So the defense wanted to keep him, and then they fired him. So, the, of course, the defense now is like, man, it's whatever, bro. We don't, we don't even care no more. And, and even if Aaron Rodgers has decent numbers, I think the Aaron Rodgers effect is affecting the G, the Jets, bro. So well, what's it's, the, what is the Aaron Rodgers effect? Well, it's, it's just like with anything in sports. Sometimes, especially with basketball more than football, you can have a 30-point ball game, but it doesn't affect the, the game anymore. Your, your points don't have impact like they used to. So for A Rod, A Rod's not a leader in that locker room. His his passing doesn't have impact like it used to once before. And it just happens with age, man. It gets the best of him, except for LeBron. Everybody else it affects. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I said too. I don't think Aaron Rodgers is it, man. He's not it. He's tearing the team apart more than he's got bringing them together. So I don't know, man. Before we get out of here, is this A Rod's last season? No, I think he got another one left in him. Daniel A. Rod's last season. I think I he's think done. So. I, I think he should probably be done, but I don't think that he is done. He'll probably do what, what Brett Favre did. Brett Favre won 10 games. with. The, they're not going to win 10 what games. What's your son going to do, Legend? <laughs> Brett Favre won 10 games, and then he went and played for Minnesota. What's your son going to what, do, what's, what's A. Rod going to do, Legend? What y'all been talking about? What's, what's he going to do? He needs a pep talk right now. No, he doesn't need a pep talk. He needs somebody at ayahuasca no, or whatever. You know, stuff. That's the problem. Yeah, that's, no, that's know, what he you needs. You know what it is. That's the problem. It, 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 it's him being hard-headed. Is that what it is? He yeah, don't listen. You know, when he was a little, little he's just, just hard-headed. <laughs> hard-headed. Stuff. You don't, don't want to listen to nobody. <laughs> he don't listen to nobody. He don't listen to nobody. So, you got to let him find his way, man. He's going to be all right. 
He be out as in they gonna make the playoffs. It, man. Are they gonna make the playoffs? Yeah. You said he's gonna be all right. So the playoffs. Uh, the playoffs this year. What playoffs. They, they two and five right now. Two right? and five. Oof. Ugh. Oh, yeah. I don't. I I wouldn't put my money on that. Devontae, you should have went to Buffalo. You got Tua coming back. I wouldn't put my money on and that. And then you got Buffalo being Buffalo. I mean, should have went to I Buffalo. Believe, I believe they make a little run, but make them I mean, play the Patriots are still trash, even though the Patriots beat the Jets, didn't they? Yes, yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Yes, they did. They did. Came back and beat. Them. Yeah, came back, I was, back I was and beat. Say them. one thing about with Devontae. If I'm going, if, if I'm going to pass up on playing with Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid to go to New York City. Mm-hmm. This might stun some people, but if I'm Devontae Adams, I'm going to go play for the Giants. Why is that? For one, they just have a better jerseys. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's going for the when, jerseys. You know what I'm saying? When you watch the Jets play and it's raining and it's cold, it looks like you're in prison. Who's going to throw him the ball? Well, you mean who's going to throw him the ball? Who's throwing him the ball now? Because he's non existent. Well. He, what he had like forty something yards last he game. Went to the Jets. So I mean, I'm just saying he he might as well he went said, to the Giants. He ain't signed no extension yet. Yes. Yes. Uh, he's not going to. Yes, yeah. should, you, if I'm if I'm Devontae and I'm no, with, that, fact, with that relationship with Aaron Ryan, no, forget that. If I'm a friend of Devontae, I'm saying you see what they do over there. Because Casey? technically, because technically they have. When you the look team, bad, you has, play bad. The team has <laughs> the team has talent. It does. They, they just don't they, play together. They, they probably need a quarterback. They have roster. That's why I said they're collection of guys. But we can regular right, on up out of here. Appreciate everybody hey, who tuned in for another show. One thing, man. What's that? You know, make sure you go vote, man. Make sure, please, please y'all get out there please, and go please vote. Please either go whether vote. you do it early or Next you do it on days. Tuesday. Go 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 please get out there. Please, 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 please go and vote. All you, black right men don't, here. all you black men don't hate on Kamala like that. Go man, vote. please do what you got to do. Please, please do what you got to do. We up out of here. Treat somebody how you want somebody. Treat your mom. We up at this thing, y'all. Peace. Peace.